Christmas has come and gone, and I spend it by myself, alone in my house. And it was awful! I was alone, and nobody, it's, I seriously was, I was alone with my fucking dog, and it was so, it was the first Christmas ever, I'm 31, and in my life it was my first Christmas ever spent alone without family or friends, just me in my room all day. And it's just because I'm in, I, I, where I'm living, I'm by myself, all my family's up, uh, up, up northern, in the northern area. Um, and I didn't, uh, go up because I couldn't afford it. And I was up there in September and there's a lot of things that factor into why I didn't want to go up. I couldn't afford it was the number one, but, uh, it's just so weird to spend a, a day, Christmas essentially. I mean, if you really think about it, it's the most important holiday. Generally, it's like the holiday of the year. You know, you've got Easter, which is and you got Thanksgiving, and some people count Valentine's or Halloween, but whatever. But you've got Christmas, which is like that's the fucking day, or you know, that's the day. And uh, because this country is so you know founded on that religious belief that Christ is the Savior and it's His day and all all this and that is always going to be synonymous with the birth of Christ, whether you believe or you don't believe, but. That's why it's just like this is the day. Thanksgiving is all. This is what we have to be thankful for. But the real, but the real uh, story is, is you know, the, the settling, settlement of the pilgrims and the raping of the Indian. You know, nobody ever talks about. It. It's so fucking weird how we celebrate Thanksgiving, but you really never talk about the true meaning behind it. You try to code it up, but it's so bizarre to me. But Christmas, that's that's the day, man. He was born in a manger. Whatever. But it was. It was bizarre. I was by myself. I had no cannabis, so I wasn't. I couldn't be the epic stoner guy that everybody has um, has been calling me, which I think is a very sweet nickname. Certainly better than being called Mikey from Orange County Choppers. Not that I got nothing against the guy. I, I just, you know, I hear it literally every single day. Like people will stop me at gas stations and supermarkets and restaurants and comment, hey, you look like Mikey from Orange County Choppers, man, you ought to move to Hollywood, man, and, and you ought to, you ought to just try and pretend to be him, man, you, you can make his kind of money, man, I'm like, I don't really think, number one, the guy makes a lot of money, um, he's on a fledgling reality show that's not even real reality, and he sells decent paintings at best. Um, so I don't, and he's working in the, in the shop. I think it was, I don't really know much about the show. I've never really seen the show. I've seen clips online, but it's just, it's just, it's just so weird how people always, uh, associate that and say like, oh, you ought to go out there and be, play to be here and make money, man. I'm like, wow, like, these people don't make a lot of money. I like, think they do. And even if I could pull it off, like, why the hell would I want to be, uh, be somebody else, man? I'd rather make money for who I am. So that's what I'm going to do with YouTube. I'm gonna become like Boogie, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and figure out how I can utilize YouTube to make a living. That's not what I want to do. I really don't want to make a living. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to make a living uh, just being me. I'd love to be my own boss. What I would rather do is um, uh, become relevant in the American culture. I don't want to be Chocolate Rain. I don't want to be Numa Numa. I don't want to be an afterthought YouTube person. I, I, honestly, I want to be some something that I want to be somebody who just kind of puts a dent somewhere in the world, not necessarily with some kitschy thing that they put on YouTube. But I have thoughts, I have ideas, and, and, a, and a point of view, and I don't think I'm the only person who has that who has these thoughts or points of view and I want to connect with people and I think that's the smartest thing I can do and I think that'd be the wisest use of my time here and I think so many Americans right now are focused on who are we going to pick to be the next bad president of America um, I think we shouldn't vote anymore uh, I think we should just let that go and focus on on just ignoring. Uh, it sounds funny. Uh, it, it sounds ridiculous. What it sounds like, even to me, 
because it's coming out of my mouth, but I think we should just ignore the government. I think we should start ignoring what comes to us from them. I think we should start ignoring uh, uh, ballots and votes. And I think we should we should just start working together as a people. Because um, it just seems to me that government really hasn't done much for us. I mean, how hard can it be? It, it, uh, it's a basic idea. How hard can it be to work together as a society of people? I mean, if you truly believe, okay, now I'm, this isn't me. This this is just the idea. The majority of people who will say, you know, uh, this is one nation under God, using God in every goddamn sentence that comes out of their mouth. But they'll say one nation under God because generally most people want to associate America with God. Whatever. But if you truly believe that, then you have to believe that the principles that his son Christ taught were love thy fellow man, work together, hand in hand, and nobody does that. So the idea would be, wouldn't it just be like, you don't need a government. God, that wasn't what, if, if that's what, if God truly put us here, then the, the principles aren't, well, let's work for somebody and pay taxes to a government. Let's, his, obviously it would be, let's just work together. Like, you know, well, you work over there and harvest corn and you harvest wheat. You raise a barn, you milk the cows, you harvest the eggs and chickens. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we all just kind of work together as a group. And I think, <laughs> it just fucking hit me. I'm going on this tangent. I don't even know what the point of it is. I lost track of what I was talking about. And it's just absolutely absurd. Here I'm talking about chicken coops and milking cows and growing wheat. <laughs> I, I'm just, I know I'm trying to like weave it into YouTube. The point is this, is is we need to fucking work together. YouTube, the internet, I, now that I'm starting to get into this, I think the idea, the point I want to make on YouTube, the relevance that I want to have, the impact I want to have on not just American culture, because that's where I'm from, but globally, because I don't believe that I'm just an American. I believe that I'm a human on the planet Earth. I don't identify as... Uh, broken copy, or my name, I'm just gonna say dozens. I'm not gonna say broken copy, because that's my name. But, I don't identify as, hi, I'm Douglas, I'm an American. I identify as, hi, I'm a Douglas, I'm, a, I'm Douglas, I'm a human being. Um, people talk about, like, having pride in where they're from, but we're all from the planet Earth, so why not just be happy that you're from there? And not have pride, because pride is just fucking dumb. I mean, that's what, gets people into fights and makes people thick-headed. Just be happy. So I think that's what I want to do with some of these videos. But give me topics. We'll talk about stuff. Um, if anybody else feels this way, I guess let me know. We'll work together on it. I mean, comment. I'll comment back. <sighs> I hope this is what everybody wanted. Somebody said, hey, I subscribe and I, and I want more videos. And I Honestly, never expected to make another video after what I posted on Boogie. I mean, I wanted to get involved with, with, with YouTube a lot more, but then I started self-doubting myself. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. What can I do? What should I say? Who's going to want to listen to me? Nobody knows me. But then you look on YouTube, and it's just like, nobody knows this person. Nobody knew this person, and now everybody knows this person. So I'm not saying I, I that's necessarily what I want to be, but I'm just saying, like, Anything's possible. Anything's possible. I, I I believe to an. I don't think I don't think anything's possible. Like I'm never gonna be a black athlete. I'm never gonna be. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, I'm never gonna have a um a, a vagina. Uh, you know. I'm never gonna fuck a porn star. I know that because I'm not in the shape to be a porn with a porn star, and I don't have the bank account. Yet. That's my ultimate goal with YouTube. Oh man, that's what I should do. I should do a video campaign. Help raise money through PayPal for me to get laid at a, with a porn star. Who would I want, man? Who's the, the chick? Uh, oh, Ashley Sky. That's the chick I got into recently. Ashley Sky, Gianna Michaels, and, uh, I think she bowed out of the porn industry, but, um, Isis Niles. Oh, she was in Clockwork Orgy. Amazing BJ scenes. Oh, 
given this pilot, uh, I don't want to go into it. It was just awesome. Really awesome. How the hell did I go from politics and all, and, and all that to wanting to get with three porn stars? But Ashley Skye is the one that I'm hooked on now. I don't know if she's a porn star or not. I just, I've been following her Tumble blog. She posts tons of new clothes. Okay, I'm going to stop this video now because at this point, I, I think, I think we've landed, flight oceanic, whatever, 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 it's landed on the island at this point, so hopefully the smoke monster won't come around anymore for the next half hour to an hour, but let me know what you guys want to hear. If this is what you keep wanting to see, let me know either way. I'll keep giving it to you. Pass it on. Share it on Facebook. Oh, God, don't do that.